بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اور ٹاپک از انفلمیشن انفلمیشن از اے کمپلیکس پروسیس انوالونگ اے ورائٹی آف سیل اینڈ سگنلنگ پروٹینز دیٹ پروٹیکٹ دی باڈی فرام انفیکشن اینڈ فورن سبسٹینسز سچ ایز بیکٹیریا اینڈ وائرسز انفلمیشن ہیلپس دا باڈی بائی پروڈیوسنگ وائٹ بلڈ سیل وچ یور باڈی نیڈز ٹو فائٹ انفیکشن سم ٹائمز دا امیون سسٹم ٹریگرز اینڈ انفلمیٹری ریسپانس inappropriately this is the case with autoimmune diseases the body compensates by attacking its own healthy tissues acting as if they are infected or abnormal when the inflammation process starts chemical in white blood cells are released into, into the blood and the affected tissues to protect the body the chemicals increase blood flow to the infected or injured body areas causing redness and warmth these chemicals may also cause leaking of fluids into tissues resulting in swelling this protective process can also stimulate nerves and tissues causing pain now the causes of inflammation infectious agent like bacteria viruses and their toxins fungi and parasites next is the immunological reactions or immunological agents such as cell mediated and antigen specific antibody responses next one is the physical and chemical agents inflammation mainly consists of two types acute inflammation and chronic inflammation in acute inflammation this is quick and effective response to injury by physical or chemical or microbiological agent there are two fundamental components of acute inflammation cellular processes and vascular changes vascular changes increased blood flow followed by vasodilatation and increased vascular permeability are the main vascular effects of acute inflammation warmth and redness open microvascular beds allowing protein rich fluid to flow into extravascular tissues enabling leukocyte migration principally neutrophils increased vascular permeability this will cause the extravascular tissue to fill with protein rich fluid and blood cells exudate is the resulting protein rich accumulation edema is caused by an increase in interstitial osmotic pressure several mechanism may contribute to increased vascular permeability endothelial cell contraction that leading to intracellular gaps of venules this occur after binding of histamines and bradykinins and many other mediators and is usually short life which is 15 to 30 minutes leukocyte cellular event the following sequence of events occur when leukocyte exit the air arterial lumen and enter the extravascular space Marg- margination and rolling along the artery wall with increased vascular permeability fluid leaves the vessel causing leukocyte to settle out of the central flow column and uh, and marginate along the endothelial surface firm adherence and transmigration between endothelial cells occur as leukocytes adhere to the endothelial surface and is mediated by the interaction of the integrins on leukocytes binding to ig family adhesion protein on the on the endothelium chemotaxis and activation leukocytes follow chemical gradient to site of injury this process is called chemotaxis in this picture you can see the leukocyte cellular event possible outcome of acute inflammation complete resolution of tissue structure and function occurs when the injury is minor or transient and there is no or minimal tissue damage when the wounded tissue has the ability to regenerate scarring or fibrosis occurs when inflammation occurs in non regenerating tissues the wounded tissue is filled with connective tissue abscess formation can arise as a result of bacterial or fungal infection progression to chronic inflammation 
possible outcome of acute inflammation in acute inflammation is characterized by vasodilatation fluid exudation and neutrophil infiltration these processes are activated and amplified by a series of intracellular and extracellular factors that tightly coordinate the inflammatory process the innate immune system respond rapidly to infection or injury chronic inflammation is a long term inflammation weeks to years in which ongoing inflammation tissue injury and repair often by fibrosis all occur at the same time chronic inflammation on the other hand is marked marked by a diverse set of reactions lymphocytes macrophages and plasma cells or mononuclear cells infiltration tissue damage by inflammatory cells repair with fibrosis and angiogenesis which is new vessel formation chronic inflammation may arise in the uh, in the setting of persistent injury or infection which is uh, in case of ulcer or tb prolonged toxic agent exposed exposure such as silica immune disease state such as ra and sle chronic inflammatory cells and mediator macrophages dominant cells scattered cuffer cells sinus uh, sinus histiocytes alveolar macrophages etc they are derived from circulating blood monocytes and reach the site of injury within 24 to 48 hours when they change into macrophages macrophages play a variety of task in the host defense and inflammatory response including ingesting and eliminating microorganisms and dead tissue initiating the tissue healing process and secreting inflammatory mediators such as cytokines chronic inflammatory cell and mediator lymphocyte antigen activated macrophages and dendritic cells through macrophages and dendritic cells lymphocyte and macrophages uh, have a relationship and this connection is critical in the spread of chronic inflammation because lymphocytes secrete macrophages activating cytokine in turn macrophages release lymphocyte activating cyno, uh, cytokines until inflammatory stimulus is removed eosinophils part of immune reaction mediated by ige found at site of parasitic infection also associated with allergies inflammatory response must be actively terminated when no longer needed to prevent unnecessary by standard damage to tissue failure to do so results in chronic inflammation and cellular destruction resolution of inflammation occurs by different mechanisms in different tissues mechanism that serve to terminate inflammation include short half life of inflammatory mediator next production and release of transforming growth factor that is t g f beta from macrophages next production and release of interleukin production of inflammatory specialized pro resolving mediators that is lipoxins resolvins etc down regulation of pro inflammatory molecules such as leukotrienes up regulation of anti inflammatory molecules such as interleukin 1 receptor antagonist or the soluble tumor necrosis factor receptor that is tnfr five cardinal signs of inflammation are common and of that you should be able to spot them immediately pain heat redness swelling loss of function in pain with both acute and chronic inflammation pain is the result of inflammatory chemicals that stimulate nerve endings causing the affected areas to feel more sensitive heat when inflamed areas of the body feel warm it is because there is more blood flow in those areas people with arthritic conditions may have inflamed joints that feel warm to the touch 
the skin around those joints however many not have the same warmth whole body inflammation may cause fevers as a result of the inflammatory response when someone has an illness or infection redness inflamed areas of the body may appear red because the blood vessel uh, inflamed areas are filled with more blood than usual swelling is common when a part of the body is inflamed it results from fluid accumulating in tissues either throughout the body or in the affected area swelling can occur without inflammation especially with injuries loss of function inflammation may cause loss of function related to both injury and illness for example an inflamed joint may not move properly or a respiratory infection may make it difficult to breathe the reason for all these symptoms is the same cytokines released into the blood stream lead to increased vascular permeability or the ability of molecules to pass through blood vessels and reach tissue cytokines are molecules that encourage your cells to communicate with each other a healthy immune system depend on them if you like our presentation please share like and subscribe our channel thank you for watching our video